Panda Extreme, and today we are making our first animation. So I'll show you what we are making. So here it is. We are starting with a very simple animation. It is only 45 frames. And it is a fish swimming across the screen. So, a very simple fish, but as we, as we make more and more, they will be getting uh, more complicated and fancy and longer. So let's get to making it, so I'll be right back. I'm back, so all I did was create a new chart so that we can start making it. So the first thing we want to do is go over the basic controls. First of all, up here in the top corner is the color selection. And so what we're going to start with is a nice uh, orangey color. And kind of just start with a sandy bottom. So what we're going to do is to paint our, our color, our first frame, as kind of the bottom of the ocean where our fish is going to be swimming. So of course the bottom of our ocean is going to have sand. And so as we start with this sand, it is very easy to color large areas because you just have to drag your finger. And so then we can start adding little bumps into the sand. I just do a simple kind of just doing one, two blocks, space, and another three, space. And that makes a simple, very simple pattern. So now what we can do is select a nice shade of green and start with our seaweed. Seaweed doesn't need to be very great because it's only seaweed. Seaweeds are pretty random. So it's not like you need to memorize how to make seaweed. So I'm just going to do seaweed very quickly. And I don't think two seaweeds need to be symmetrical. So there is our first block of seaweed. We can grab that color again to fill in that hole. And maybe take out that one. So now we've got our first seaweed, we can make another seaweed. So we can grab um, the same green. We can just kind of build up our seaweed. They don't have to be identical, but um, if you want to make your two seaweeds identical, then of course you can. You can customize it however you want by using different shades. Oh, and also, if you, say, mess up, the undo button up here helps with that. So I'm having to go in, grab white, and white it out. So now, we've... Wow, that looks weird. We've got all our seaweed. Uh, they are not identical, so that's okay. If you want to make your own seaweed or copy my exact seaweed it is your choice and so there you go I'll let that sit for a second if you wanted to copy the seaweed but moving on what we want to do is of course choose a color for the sea and so I like this um this dark blue color the other two shades of blue are this nice light blue and a really, really dark blue. And then some weird turquoise colors. But I'm going to stick with the dark blue. So if I just erase this. And if you couldn't um, tell by now, the, um, the I caught a cold. And so that is why I didn't upload a video yesterday. I was feeling horrible. And I don't think anyone would have enjoyed listening to me with a cough and sneezing and wheezing everywhere. But uh, Mississippi did upload two videos yesterday to kind of make up for that. And also she is she did upload a video today already. 
making a really pretty plasticine rose. Uh, it's very easy to make and it's also really pretty. All you really need is a, a small amount of red clay and a tiny bit of amount of any color green. So you should check that out. Uh, all of her crafts are going to be simple to make, not very complicated, but you end up with a, a good product. So, with nothing more to talk about, I'm going to cut the video here as I just kind of fill in this blue background because that's not very entertaining. So I'll be right back. Right, I'm back, and as you can see, we have finished the blue background. And there, this is our first frame. Now, I'm just going to touch up a couple things. Because some things might look a little weird. Because I might have covered up stuff by accident. But, uh, everything looks good now. So now, what we can do is go and we can click the button copy frame so now that frame is copied we can add a frame so now we can use the two arrows up here to switch between frame one and frame two so now after all that work we can scroll down a little to save our story and watch out for this ad and hit that x move that back up there Oops. And so now we can go to the next frame and hold down the paste frame button. So now uh, frame 1 and frame 2 are the exact same. So now what we can do is pick the color for our fish. A nice orangey color. So now, oops. Frame 1 and frame up. Uh, we have to go and paste that again, because I must have clicked something. So now we can start making our fish. Now our fish is going to look like this. It's going to be a 3x3 three three square with a tail and an eye. I mean, whoops. Not a 3x3 three three square. A 3x4 square with an eye. So that's what our little fish is going to look like. We can uh, start making him. So we can get rid of that because he's obviously going to start over here. So we start with three little dots. Now those three little squares might not look like a fish. But now we can make sure we um, copied, oops, copied this frame. We can go over here add a frame, paste it, uh, remember where those three dots are, and then we can make them again, only now this is where the eye of the fish goes. And so we can add another frame, paste it, come back here, remember where the fish is, we can draw another little square, where the eye goes. So now if you come back here you can see how the fish is gradually starting to swim across the screen. So now we can finish the the body of the fish. And so now we can come down here again save story save successfully Oops. Your empire is where you're Sorry about the cut, but now we can get back to making our little fish. So we can go back to this color. After we have saved, we can make another frame. Paste. Go back and start our fish tail. So now we can, after we make his body, we can put another block there to show part of his, part of his tail. So now we, whoops, we copied that frame. Copy this frame, come back here, 
add the thing and paste the thing now we can come back to color go back see where our fish was and draw it now we can see the full fish and he is now fully on the screen so we can go to preview and see that our animation is coming together so uh, we're going to uh, customize it more once we finish making the animation like adding music changing the speed and things like that and whoops so now we can add the f another frame and start making our fish swim across so you can probably get how we are doing this this is a very simple animation so it should be uh, fairly easy to make uh, it should not take more than an hour to create and so I'll cut back once I fish is fully across the screen so I'll be right back guys welcome back and now that I have finished putting this fish across the screen you can go to our preview and well as you can see our fish is moving quite slowly but to fix that, when we come down here, right under preview is music and speed. So if we go into speed, you want to click all frames down here. And we can, we can try each one. So let's try fast so we can set that. Let's watch that. See how fast that is. Uh, you can decide how fast you want yours to be. We can try faster. That's rather fast. But now, what we can do is we can do music. So, you can see this trivia theme. Um, none trivia theme. Um, I don't know what loop does. Uh, or you can choose an mp3 file. Um, I don't have any mp3 files, so I just choose the trivia theme. And trivia theme is actually what I use for the intro and ending of all our videos and I also use this I also used this app to make them and if you didn't know this app is called pixel studio but it is only for Samsung uh, yeah Samsung it's in the Samsung Play Store so uh, sorry if you're on an Apple device I don't know if it's on Nexus or anything else but I do know it's on Samsung because I do use a Samsung tab, I think 8.0 or something. But um, now that we've uh, decided on everything, uh, we have a total of 55 frames. So now what we can do is we can come down here, save our story again, save successfully. Now we can preview it, and this is our fish. So now what we can do is we can leave. We have to watch this thing again. As soon as this finishes, we can come to watch slash share. Oh, we have to save our thing first. Let's see. We have to save story. Watch this ad. These ads get very annoying. Come on. There. Um, nope. So now that that's saved. Oh. Why is this so hard? <sighs> Alright. Create video. Create. So now that this is creating, it's going to go through each frame. And so, as you can see in the background, are little fishes swimming. Um, 
If you want, leave a comment in the comment section if you have an idea for an animation we can do. And also, tell me if what you think I messed up on this, because I'm sure there's, there's got to be at least one thing I, I messed up on this fish animation. Uh, I know, I know there's one thing. I, I probably did mess up something, but I'm not going to go through and find it, because that would be hard. So, uh, this video is probably going to be around um, 15, 10 to 15 minutes long. Um, oh yeah, right in the designated amount of time that I wanted it to be. Oh, and just so you know, this animation is about 55 frames and uh, three, three and a half seconds long. So you can imagine what, uh, about 100 frames, 200 frames. This app is supposed to be used to make a uh, story, story books. But you can also use it for animations, making pixel, pixel pictures and other things like that. So now we can go to watch and share. Um, you can see I called this how to make fish animation. And now we can watch it. And there it is. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed how to make this first animation. So leave a like if you enjoyed this. Leave a comment if you want to say anything? Uh, you can follow Mississippi and I on, on Instagram, TOBear3. And subscribe if you want more. So, bye.